Good day, my fellow true crime enthusiasts. Ako po ulit si Terry, aka the Binay Crime Investigator. Let's get straight into today's video. Aside from their original series, gustong gusto ko rin ang mga true crime documentaries and docuseries ng Netflix. Not to mention, their movies and shows inspired by real crimes. I must say that after watching Making a Murderer, Netflix has solidified itself as a top true crime destination. At dahil karamihan sa atin in ha-quarantine pa rin, why not binge watch these true crime shows and movies on my list as a reminder that there are actually worse things and people in the world than what is currently going on. This is an American true crime documentary TV series na may anim na tig 45 minutes na mga episodes. Hindi ito tungkol sa isang haunted mountain, but the show examines the dark sides of Humboldt County sa Northern California. Nabukod sa kilala ang lugar na ito sa malalawak na tanima ng marijuana, sa loob ng mahabang panahon ay marami ng naging kaso ng pagkawala, sex trafficking, at maging mga kaso ng pagpatay, hence the nickname Murder Mountain. The documentary focuses specifically on Garrett Rodriguez, a 29-year-old na tumira sa Humboldt County upang kumita ng pera bilang isang cannabis grower. Ngunit makalipas ang ilang buwan, ay inireport siya ng kanyang pamilya as missing. Hanggang isang araw, ay natagpuan ang kanyang labi and Garrett was confirmed a victim of a homicide. It's a three-part true crime docu-series tungkol ito sa isang grupo sa Facebook dedicated itself to tracking the men who shared a series of animal cruelty acts such as suffocating or drowning kittens and filmed another cat being eaten by a large snake. Sa pag-iimbestiga ng grupo, ay nalaman nilang ang lalaki sa nasabing mga videos na si Luca Magnota mula Canada ay siya rin palang responsable sa pagpatay sa isang Chinese international student na si Jun Lin. In fact, Luca also released a video online of himself killing Jun Lin and abusing his corpse. This 91-minute true crime documentary film covers the kidnappings of John Brobert, isang 12-year-old mula Idaho sa Amerika. Hindi lang isa, kundi dalawang beses na dinukot ni Robert B. Birchtold na noon ay 40 years old na. Ang lalaking ito rin ay tinuring na kaibigan ng kanilang pamilya. Robert also managed to convince the family of John to drop the most serious kidnapping charges against him and continue letting him spend disturbing amounts of time with their young daughter. Ipinakita rin sa palabas kung paanong nakumbinsi ni Robert ang bata na sundin ang kanyang mga kagustuhan sa pamamagitan ng mga kwento nito tungkol sa mga aliens. Another disturbing detail in the film is when Mary Ann and Bob Broberg, mga magulang ni John, claim that Robert manipulated them into separately engaging in their own sexual encounters with him as well. The Keepers is a seven-episode American documentary web series that explores the unsolved murder of nun Catherine Sesnick in 1969. Si Sister Kathy ay nagtuturo ng English at drama sa isang all-girls high school nang bigla itong maglaho at kinalaunan ay natagpuan na nga ang bangkay nito. Her former students believe that there was a cover-up by authorities after the nun suspected that a priest at the high school na si Anthony Joseph Maskell ay gumagawa ng kahalayan sa ilan sa mga estudyante sa paaralan. The show not only explores Sister Kathy's mysterious murder, as well as the corruption and the lengths the Catholic Church appeared to go to in order to cover up crimes by one of their own. It's a six-part documentary TV miniseries tungkol sa kung paanong sa loob ng walong buwan ay dumalas ang 8 years old na batang lalaki na si Gabriel Fernandez ng iba't ibang klase ng pang-aabuso sa kamay ng sarili nitong inang si Pearl at kinakasama nitong si Isauro Aguirre. 
The horrific torture inflicted on the child included regular beatings, being shot in the face with a BB gun, forced to eat cat litter, locked in a cupboard for hours, and pepper sprayed. At ang pinakakarumaldumal sa lahat ay nang mamatay ang bata matapos ang pangbubugbog ng ina at kinakasama nito. The limited documentary series also details the failure of the Department of Child and Family Services and points out all its flaws. Thanks for watching. I hope you find this video informative. Let me know your thoughts in the comments and please don't forget to like and subscribe.